on the train to heading to Kowloon. What it is is the Terminal 1 train goes from the airport, it goes to Sing Yi and then Kowloon, then on to Hong Kong. Um, it says it takes 25 minutes. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible because there's people sleeping and um, I don't want to be the obnoxious one waking people up in the morning this early. So, but I'm, I'm awake. I'm an early riser. So, I'm um, just trying to keep quiet so nobody gets annoyed with me. But here's a train. Um, very nice aircon, very quiet, seats are comfy, have a look around. So yeah, everybody's quiet, so you have to be quiet on the train. Hopefully um, they don't get annoyed with me filming. But, yeah, this is the train. And it shows you. Um, So you get LEDs flashing to the next station. It's not that long. It's pretty fast. It's comfortable. But because it's early morning, I'm going to be really quiet. So I'm walking around, um, what, Kowloon. I'm in right near the ferry. And, um, I was just walking across the street, walking to the ferry. Right, the ferry's down that way, and I look up at the Peninsula Hotel. It's got these Bentleys and Mercedes, and it looks like the rich. But when I look up on the building, guess what I see? It looks like the original Italian job bus. Remember that? The Italian job, the original one from the 70s, it looked like the bus from that. It's just a random thing in uh, Kowloon City. So I attempted to get to the museum, uh, the Space Museum of Hong Kong, which is there. But it's closed to the public today till 1 o'clock. Um, so I have to walk back. There's another quick, quick glimpse of that bus from the Italian job. See, it, it moves up and down slowly, but as I walk across the street back again, this bamboo art in front of the, the ferry, uh, I think the boardwalk or something like that down that way, but this is all bamboo. We got, um, gives me a bit of shade from the rain. And guess what, I've got the um, Gabby's raincoat on. Gap Adventure too. it's oh, G Adventures now, as they call Little things. So next stop is the um, looking over to Hong Kong. So, so here we have the um, Great Wall of China bullshit. No, it's not. We have Hong Kong in haze. It's not haze. It's it's clouds. There's a bit of um, rain, tiny bit of rain coming up, but it's it's a, it's amazing. Look, if this is on like this tonight. I'm going to come out here and hopefully get it on, get it on, uh, get it on shot for you. But look at that. what that building is. I'll find out what that building is. Imagine these lights when they come on tonight. And I think um, I think Bruce Lee's down that way somewhere. The statue of Bruce Lee. There's a lady here but um, I'm gonna find the statue of Bruce Lee and um, have, a, have a little bit of look down that way. I told you I find Bruce Lee. It's not a statue, but it's his name. Look. 
Okay, no, no. He's over there. Behind me. Well, then people are. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to go down there. There's so many people down there. But that's him. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to walk through all the people who do doing the selfies there. I'm going to do my own selfie. As I was walking um, through the avenue of the stars on Kowloon side, looking over to Hong Kong, and you see this um, building going up, it's bamboo, scaffolding of bamboo, it's amazing. Um, can't really see the uh, Hong Kong side yet, but it's coming along very soon. But I saw this little park up there. Here's the name of the park. No, no, here we go. Avenue of the Stars. And, oh, it's a Middle Road Children's Playground. No, that's not the one. That's not the one. I'm, I'm talking about there's one up there. I may have to go around. So I'm just going to do adventure, walking adventure right now. So today is um, my first day. Uh, landed. I went to the hostel. But um, look at that amazing red flower on the tree. Um, I went to the hostel. The guy was pretty rude and he said just literally said come back at two o'clock when the reservation was made. I thought can I have an early check-in and goes not come back at two o'clock. Just full stop said that. And I thought oh, okay. I just got my bags there or one of my bags, the heavy one, full clothes, and um, got my day bag. That's where I walk from alleyways from uh, the Avenue of the Stars. Um, I saw that pagoda as I was talking about. So I walked through alleyways, went to the wrong park, which is the um, children's park. Yes, I'm not going to go there, not a pedo, but I found it. It is called Signal Hill Gardens. So I'm going to have to go hike up there, and it's pretty um, humid, so good luck to me. <laughs> Is it nice up there, guys? It's it fine. is nice. Huh? <laughs> Check your pagoda. I'm going to try that later. It's one security guard. The couple you just saw um, are the only people that's, that were up, are up here. Were up here. So I'm here by myself with a cleaner. Would have been a magnificent site without that building. So it's clearing up. The day's clearing up as well, so it's getting better. So this this is what I thought I thought it was the pagoda, but that's more like it. It's a modern one. To this one. As I went to have a look at the view from Kowloon Bay, or Kow Kowloon, to Hong Kong, the guard had closed the pagoda on me. So, I am unable, I can, I can, I'm going to try and visit it tomorrow. I'll climb it, have a view. I don't think it's, it's much better of a view because of that building that has blocked the view. But, let's see if I can get to this tomorrow gonna find out another way to get here from the city way so I'm gonna walk down run that half of the town now 